These three chats are obvious and active species, and in all cases the males are unlikely to be misidentified if seen well, although their songs are less familiar. Stone chats are perky, fat-bodied, dumpy little birds. They are frequently found in open habitats, often with heather or gorse. They are present in coastal areas, forestry clearings and lowland heaths. Stone chats are also found on moorland, hills and mountains. Stone chat is the only one of the three species to be encountered in the winter, usually, in that case, in lowland areas, including rough grassland and stubble fields. But beware, as wind chat and wheat ear can very often be found in these same habitats on spring or autumn migration. When perched conspicuously out in the open, as they often do, stone chat give a predominantly black and white impression with a russet chest, which is brighter in the males. The most obvious and consistent feature is the pale neck collar, white in males, and a dark or black plain head. Even relatively up close, the plumage appears even toned, with the markings barely visible. The birds are restless, dipping and pumping their tails constantly, and frequently dropping down to catch an insect, or flitting from one prominent perch to another. In flight, the distinct contrast between the plain head and rufous breast is obvious. The tail is plain and dark, with no white markings. Generally the rump is mid-toned, although beware some few males can show a white rump. Wind chats are more sleek and slimline birds, but with similar behaviour to stone chats. They are usually found in often damp, lush areas and tussocky grasslands, although they are also commonly found on bracken-covered slopes. The single most distinctive and obvious ID feature of wind chat, which holds for all plumages, is the pale supercilium, which is white in the male. This is present even in the juveniles. Another feature is that the rufous breast extends up onto the throat. Windchats are heavily patterned on their backs and rump, and these markings are obvious with reasonable views. The third chat, the wheat ear, is a bigger bird, as big as a meadow pipit. Wheat ears are almost always encountered on the ground, often with short grass, but often perch on rocks, where they stand with a distinctive upright posture. On passage, wheat ears can turn up anywhere, even school playing fields and arable fields, but they usually breed on moors, heaths and uplands. Wheat ears are active birds with a distinctive bowing action as they pitch forward to pick something off the ground before stepping forward and standing upright again, usually pumping their tail. Males are handsome birds, grey above in spring, with black wings and a black bandit mask. Females are browner birds, missing the face mask. All birds have a pale eye stripe and wings that contrast with the back and belly, but by far and away the most obvious feature of all wheat ears is their distinctive white rump and tail. The tail has a black inverted T-shaped tip. All three chats have fairly similar calls, variation on the theme of wheat chack. There are differences, however, that can help us. Stone chat calls with an annoyed whip-chack sound, with a piercing whip and often repeating the chack-chack, which is grating and almost sounds like two stones being hit together. Wind chat calls with more of a yoop tack the first part of which is fluty and deep and distinctive. The tack part is very clear and simple. Wheat ears often repeat the first part of their call, wheat, wheat chat. Their songs, although less familiar, are very different. Stone chat has a simple, scratchy, sweet song, almost like a short dunnock phrase. Wind chat has a complex song, which is arranged in very short verses with obvious pauses. And it is this structure of the song which is distinctive. The individual phrases themselves can include mimicry. Wheat ears have a strange song, almost in two parts. There are short, whistled phrases alternated with distinct rattles, almost sounding like gravel being rolled together, or even a quiet football rattle. 